Hey guys, it's Gamer, and I'm back with another video, and today Standoff 2 has just released the 0.11 patch for iOS. Finally, it's been out for a few days on Google Play, and finally it's on iOS, and there is a lot of stuff in this update. They've been really pushing themselves to release this update as fast as they could. They, they put so much stuff in here that it took this long to finally release it. So, what is in this update? So, we have... A competitive mode thank God I'm gonna be grinding that for sure uh, we got a clan system we got global chat we have four new weapons we have the FS pistol the tech 9 pistol the FN FAL uh, sorry rifle, and the M 110 which is I think a, um, an auto sniper and then uh, we have a new butterfly knife which is in the brand new case which is honestly insane it's called the fable case and if we go and look at it here all these skins I'm telling you, man, I'm pretty sure it's just one guy making all these skins. This guy is so freaking talented, man. I'm telling you, comparing these cases to Counter-Strike, like, Global Offensive, like, even the worst, like, the rares, are, like, the coolest skins. Like, I swear, like, there's, I don't see a single bad skin in here. This thing looks freaking awesome. And then the Butterfly Knives, we got the Legacy, the Dragon Glass, the Black Widow, and the Starfall. So, very, very cool. I actually opened up uh, three of them behind the scenes, and I didn't get much out of them. Uh, let me see what I got. I ended up getting, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I ended up getting, like, the P90 Jungle, uh, the MP7 Thorn. This one looks really cool. And then I got the AKR Worm, uh, which is in one of the cases. And then what else, what else, what else? I think that's what I also got a Deagle, I think. But, uh, I don't know where it is. This is a new update, but there are still, I think, some bugs. Oh, there we go. There's one of the things I got. I got the Cerberus. So, very, very cool. Um, on top of that, there's actually now a spectator mode that is really, really well done. Uh, and then some changes. We got new HUDs, new first-person animations, new music and sound effects. You can actually hear in the main menu. It's really, really cool. Uh, we have updated weapon and character sound effects, which I have noticed. I've only played, I think, like two team death matches. Uh, and I can definitely tell the different sounds. And then we also have the competitive packs. These are kind of packs that are able to buy one at a time. So basically, if you buy the uh, bronze one, you end up getting this skin. And then if you end up getting this one, it's, it's by tiers. So you buy each one. So this one is six ninety or five ninety nine, and then this one will probably be I don't know, maybe like ten or fifteen, and then it'll go higher and higher until you get the butterfly knife so this is this one is probably maybe 100 i'd say or 50 I, I, I don't know the exact numbers but um i'll probably get this at some point i mean these look really really cool uh but anyways yeah this is the update they got um a lot of stuff a lot of stuff and there are a few things i want to talk to you guys about but before we do that let's jump into tdm and uh, just check out the new update All right, guys, here we go. We're in a match. I'm using the FAL assault rifle. And uh, this game, man, is so, so very different. I don't know how I didn't get him. He has two HP. Wow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to grind this game to get my aim back, man. Before I go into competitive and like show you guys gameplay and everything, I'm really going to have to sit down and grind because this game, I mean, now there's an option for 20 FPS. I got to get used to that. Plus the new, like, HUD in the controls and everything. I just gotta get used to all, all the new weapons. So bear with me on that. I know I, don't, I haven't really been posting this in a while. I was in a headshot! 2 HP? Alright, FAL. That's a no. Uh, but you see, see what I mean? That keeps happening. That's so annoying. So, for some reason, this game does not have a very good... Does not have a very good, uh... Ooh. Uh, it doesn't protect against the home bar, I should say. Like, with Call of Duty Mobile, I never have the problem where, like, I accidentally touch the home bar at the bottom. You know, the, the devices that don't have a, a home button. For this, for this game, it's so sensitive. Like, they gotta fix that. I sent suggestions over to them. Um, there are still things that need, I think, work. Um, like, I'll show you one thing, for instance, here in a second. Okay. 
so I'm playing on my server. Like, this is southern US. That's perfect. It said I was getting like 40 ping. I'm getting 50. Look at everyone else's ping. They're like the 200s. Like, does no one in the US play this game? Or, like, like you can choose, you can choose the region, the server you want to go. So, if these guys are choosing southern US, they're just straight up just jerks. Like, why? Why would you join the 200 F or 200 ping, man? That, that's actually really bad that you would do that. There needs to be some sort of thing that doesn't allow that. Like, anything more than 100 ping should not be in the same server. But, uh, anyways. Uh, on top of that, probably just one more thing I should probably... Okay. One more thing I should probably mention is, um... Uh, one more thing I should probably mention is that... The same thing with Call of Duty Mobile, man. I don't know. There's just something going on. So, the jump button and the crouch button... They're supposed to be buttons, but... For some reason, you're able to move your screen while your, your finger's on the button. So, like, I'm gonna put just one finger on the crouch... And I could still move my screen with it. And that messes people up. Because if I'm tapping it, you know, while I'm shooting or something, or in the middle of shooting, it can move my screen on top of the finger I'm using to move my screen, if that makes sense. So, anyways, again, it's just all, gotta get used to it. Just last minute kind of bugs they gotta fix. But other than that, man, this game is feeling crazy smooth. I am loving... I am loving the 120 FPS. I'm loving the new weapon sounds. AK still reigns supreme. Why does the FAL suck so bad? Uh, they also moved the AK just to the T side. So the M4, I can't even use the M4 right now until I switch to CT. Which is good. That's how it should be. Um, but yeah, guys. Competitive mode will come. Do not worry. Also case openings. Just give me some time to adjust everything. Uh, dude, I suck. Oh no, I suck! Wow! Oh my god! Wow! Spawn, please. Freaking A, man. Dude, he didn't spawn. Spawn! <laughs> what are you doing, dude? What? What? What is... What? Why did he disappear? Ah, oh, no, 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 come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 go away. He's so weak, man. Oh, whoa. Just kind of like teleported there. You're not gonna spawn, are you? No, I'm no, I'm just bailing, dude. I'm not going there. I'm not going anywhere freaking near you, man. Not until you spawn. What am I supposed to do? He was shooting from the side. He. All right. Well, that th that standoff too, guys. Uh, the update. I'm gonna have to sit down and just contemplate my life playing this game. <laughs> I need to understand. I need to understand this game again. I've not played in quite a while. I'm definitely going to get used to it first, and then I'll go to competitive, and I'll probably have some competitive gameplay for you guys at some point.
Uh, and then, yeah, basically for, for rank, you need 10 games and then you'll get rank. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.